Welcome to the explainer. Today, we're going to cut through the noise and give you the ultimate briefing on data governance. You know, every single organization out there is sitting on a mountain of data, and that data can be your greatest asset, the thing that drives you forward, or it can be your biggest liability, a huge risk just waiting to happen. So what's the secret? What tips the scale from dangerous liability to strategic asset? Well, it all comes down to one critical discipline, data governance. All right, let's get into it. So let's start with the absolute basics, the big question. What is data governance, really? Because understanding this is the foundation for everything else we're going to talk about. Okay, so here's the formal definition, but don't think of it as just some project or a new piece of software. A much better way to think about it is like a constitution for your data. It's the system of record, the set of rules that everyone agrees on for how to handle this incredibly valuable asset. So why should you even care? Well, the benefits are huge, and they solve some major business headaches. We're talking about making sure your data is actually accurate and consistent so you can trust your reports. It's about staying on the right side of major regulations like GDPR or HIPAA to avoid those massive fines. It's about protecting yourself from data breaches and, maybe most importantly, finally clarifying who's responsible for what. It all ladders up to making smarter decisions and just running a more efficient business. So if we're sticking with that constitution analogy, what are the different articles and amendments? A really solid framework isn't just one single thing, right? It's a bunch of interconnected parts all working together. And this really shows you that governance is a team sport. It's not just an IT problem. You've got people, like data stewards and owners, working with processes, like policies and quality management. And it's all supported by technology. It's the whole shebang. Ah, yes, this one comes up all the time. But you know what? Getting this distinction right is absolutely crucial if you want to have real accountability in your organization. So let's clear this up once and for all. Here's the easiest way to remember it. The data owner is accountable. Think of them as the executive with the high-level strategic view. They own the what and the why. The data steward, on the other hand, is responsible. They are the hands-on subject matter expert dealing with the data every single day. They own the how. And this example just nails it, right? The CFO is accountable for the entire financial data strategy, but it's the finance manager who's responsible for making sure the numbers are clean and correct day in and day out. Okay, so now that we know who's doing what, how do we know if they're actually succeeding? Right, because you can't just say, hey, we're doing governance now and call it a day. To get people to buy in and to keep the program funded, you have to prove with numbers that it's delivering real value. And success isn't just one single metric. It's a mix of things. You're looking at hard numbers like improvements in data quality and a reduction in compliance issues. But you're also looking at the direct business impact. Are we making better, faster decisions because of this? Are we saving time and money? That's what really matters. Now, to really trust your data, you can't just look at the final number in a report. You have to know its whole life story, where it came from, and the journey it took to get to you. And that's exactly where data lineage comes in. Think of it like a GPS for your data. It's a map that shows you exactly where the data was born, every stop it made along the way, and everything that happened to it before it landed in your dashboard. Seriously, without this, trying to fix an error is a total nightmare. I love this analogy. It's fantastic. If governance is the constitution, the high-level set of laws, then something like master data management, or MDM, is the specialized police force. MDM's job is to enforce those laws for your most critical data, like customer or product info, to make sure there's one single trusted version of the truth. Okay, this is a big one. It's a real balancing act. On one hand, you want to democratize data, give more people access so they can innovate. But on the other hand, you can't just have a free-for-all, right? That would be chaos. So the answer isn't to lock everything down. The goal is what we call governed self-service. It's about giving people the keys to the car, but also making sure they've passed their driver's test and that there are clear guardrails on the highway to keep them safe. Now, all of this sounds great on paper, but let's be real. Making it happen in the real world is tough. So let's talk about the biggest roadblocks you are almost guaranteed to hit. The number one challenge almost always is people. It's culture. People naturally resist change, and they often see governance as just more red tape. The only way to beat this is to show them what's in it for them. 
focus on how good, clean, easy to find data makes their jobs easier and helps them win. And the second killer challenge, a lack of support from the top. Look, if leadership isn't backing your governance program, it is dead on arrival, period it. You get their support by building a rock solid business case that ties your work directly to their strategic goals. Okay, so you might be watching this thinking, this is great, but we have nothing. We're starting from scratch. So what's the practical roadmap? How do you actually do this? Here's the secret. You don't try to boil the ocean. You take it in phases. You start small, find one or two really painful problems, launch a pilot project to solve them, and get a quick win on the board. That success builds momentum, and then you can expand from there. And really, it all comes down to these four things. If you walk away with nothing else, remember these. Start small, show value early, communicate like crazy, and get that executive support. This is the bedrock of any successful program. And that brings us back to the ultimate question. Now that you have the framework, you have to ask yourself, is our data truly working for us or is it working against us? Is it an asset or is it a liability just waiting to explode? That's what this is all about.